at any hospitality center, guest relations location, or in the Little Lone Star's craft corral. Howdy, YouTube. Today we are at the Texas State Fair, and we have Big Tex behind us. And today we are here to eat all the food, not really check out the rides much, but definitely see what new foods they have here this year. So the Texas State Fair has been going on since 1886, and it is actually one of the largest state fairs in the nation. And it is also one of the longest running fairs in the nation, running 24 consecutive days. The best fair, the biggest fair. This thing gets a trophy for everything. And they have Big Tex. No other state fair has Big Tex. <laughs> Opening day, Texas State yeah, Fair. Yeah, we mentioned this is opening day, so let's go. Yuzu Arnold Palmer. I've already been sipping on it because it's hot outside. It's really hot outside. And man, it tastes just like Yuzu which is a cross between an orange and a lemon. Like the rind of a lemon, it tastes like zest, almost like candied zest. And then of course you taste uh, the sweet tea, but you don't taste the leaves like you normally would in sweet tea. You taste uh, a lot of that yuzu. It is really good, it's refreshing. It tastes like lemon sweet tea. Lemon sweet tea? Oh my God, it's so refreshing. And you get a lot too. It's a pretty big cup. This is so good. Yeah, I get the yuzu drink from Panera, like the charged yuzu, so I really like that citrusy, that super citrusy taste, and that's what this has. It's less tea and more citrusy, which I like. It's not your typical like fair lemonade that you would get, but to me, this is really good. It's like a little extra. I like it. So here we got the strawberry cream sando. It's a Japanese, um, dessert right Japanese dessert with uh, strawberries some kind of cream and the bread is Japanese I believe right Japanese bread but it smells like strawberries I mean, it looks like normal bread like Sara Lee type bread the cream looks like um cream that would go in cream puffs that's what it looks like the bread looks super light <laughs> It's nothing um, crazy. Like the bread tastes like normal white bread. Nothing crazy. There's really not a lot of texture. It's just cream, the strawberry crunch. I mean, that's it, but it's, it's pretty good. I, I like this, it's pretty good. It's not sweet at all, it's perfect. Would you get it again? Yeah? So the only strawberries are like the ones that are actually in the part that's cut. The rest is just the cream. It's good. I'm not sure, I mean, I'm not sure it's going to be filling it enough. It's like super light and very delicate. I would get it again. Not here at the fair. I feel like I would prefer like a funnel cake or something here at the fair just because it's a classic fair food. But this is good and it's actually refreshing. So if this is wrong, blame Brianna. This is the spicy chicken katsu sando. Mmm. Wow. Put the wow everywhere. Wow. A spice it's this is spicy chicken sandwich, that's what it is. It's made out of chicken breast. Chicken breast is not dry at all. It's got yum yum sauce and then um some cabbage on it. This is well done. Uh, the only thing is the katsu isn't uh, crunchy. It could be because we've been letting it sit here for a minute. So it's not crunchy, but this is really freaking good. This is amazing. Very savory. The chicken breast is cut very like super thin. I'm surprised by that. It has a little sauce. This is definitely a go-to for sure. 
And this one didn't win the Big Tex Choice Awards like that you get here. It's at the same stand, but the Sando, the fruit Sando is the one that won the Big Tex Award. I feel like this one should have won it. What do you give it out of five? One out of five. Five being the best thing, one being disgusting, the worst thing. I'm going to straight up say I'm, I'm going to give it a five. I might give it a five. It's a five for me. Does that get a badge of honor? Yeah. This is the red, white, and blue crumble at Pound Cake Experts. So it's a red, white, and blue pound cake with vanilla ice cream. And you can also get a choice of chocolate ice cream with it. That pound cake is really moist. Oh, but the ice cream is so good. This is really good. It's not something that's like dire to get, but it's fun. It's a fun little cake and ice cream dessert. Pretty good. It tastes like box cake. No, it's it a doesn't. pound cake. There you go, pound cake. Because it has the the sweetness, that sweetness and undertones of box cake, but the thickness of pound cake. Yeah. And then the ice cream, is it homemade? Did it say? It, I didn't see anything about it. It pairs really well together. It does. So this is like a birria taco, but inside a papa rellena, which we used to eat all the time in Puerto Rico. So this is like Puerto Rico meets Texas. That is so good. Rihanna part doesn't really have a kick at all, but the sauce does. That is good. That's like the best of both worlds. I'm not wowed, but it is pretty good. It reminds me of like a tamal, like the flavors of tamal, very earthy and um, smoky. Fast. It did. Like, look at yours. Yeah, mine's gone. She, look at mine. she already put extra cotton candy in one of them because it melted before she even wow. brought it over to me. So to me, this was kind of hard to find. Yeah. This area. It's like you get kind of like you get lost in Midway. It's all over the place. Yes. So it's where's it at? This is at Stifler's mom's cookie factory. <laughs> the way yeah. I can remember is by those posts. So D12, this one's by D13 or D14? Well, it's also by Old Time Photos. Tastes like a fruity cocktail. Not really like, not really a margarita, not really a cotton candy, just a cocktail. But this is trash. It's like super sweet. It's just sugar. Yeah. I don't taste any alcohol it in here. It tastes more like just a tea. sugar. Just give me a like a hard lemonade and I would be fine. <laughs> and what'll Leah get? She got her Big Tech souvenir cup. That's gross.
give him a little milk. On your mark, get set, go! Here we go! All right, come on, Wilbur Jr. Hurry up, Elroy, and go down and run ya! All right. Ooh, yeah, Wilbur Jr. there. Now, baby wigs. That you're all ready to go. The ham stretch. Uh huh, yeah. Right to the finish line where the winner will receive the silver trophy platter. Show them that silver trophy platter, yeah, Ra? That is right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're out. And they're out. You have Hamela Anderson! <laughs> magic show and they didn't allow filming in the building but it was really good I believe it was the one we missed last year and it is a for sure you need to see type of show here if you are around where the petting zoo is it's not the show that's outside it's inside the air-conditioned building they're amazing I was sitting there staring so intently trying to find out how they did the tricks there was no way I could figure it out they were really good and they're celebrating 100 years of magic so the great Houdini played here when, like in 1920? Yeah, in 1920 they did. I think that was to celebrate 100 years of magic with Houdini. Yes. So that was really so 1923, cool. 1923, right? Yeah. That's crazy. They celebrated 100 years of magic with Houdini here. That was crazy. Embargado? Embargado? The Embargado? Embargado? I don't know. Like the shopping district we'll here. We'll put it somewhere. I, I, I don't know. I saw, we saw this last time. I want to say we saw it at Meow Wolf. It's called, uh, it's jerky, y'all. It's not jerky, y'all, but it's freaking good. <laughs> it's, it's kind of fibrous. It's fibrous, it's um, smushy, it's chewy. It's got really good flavor. Earthy. Earthy. It's not jerky, but it's good. It's really good. It's chewy like jerky. <laughs> the flavor's not bad. It's weird, but not bad. Okay, so we've been looking for this Gaccio Pepa pasta, fried pasta, all day. Little did we know it was at the Italy booth <laughs> here. So I should have known pasta, but it's like a cheesy Alfredo or Parmesan pasta, deep fried. And it comes with a little bit of marinara sauce. It tastes kind of like the fried mac and cheese bowl. It's good. I kind of wish they would have given us more marinara sauce than this. <laughs> the heck is that? That's just like a... That's literally like one bite. But the flavor is good. And mind you, we've never eaten at Italy. It doesn't really give me fair food vibes, but this is good. This is more like a upscale, like fair food, I guess. Yeah, good. I was expecting like fried mac, mac and cheese. Like the mac and cheese balls that we had before in the past doesn't reach that same uh, satisfaction. It's still pretty good. There's really nothing I can say about this one. I'll give it a three out of five. I would say a four. Okay, so when we saw this, we were really curious. It is called the fried fireball shot. Now, I don't know what is in it. I can't even tell you. So, I'm a little bit nervous to try this. Cheers. Tastes like a funnel cake. It's like a cinnamon funnel cake. 
So I'm a, I'm a tad disappointed because I thought the fireball was fried. But then again, how are you going to fry liquid in, in, in liquid? Like, what's that going to turn to? It's fun to try. It's literally just a funnel cake and a shot of fireball. It's a fun novelty item. Yeah. But I do give them this, though. That funnel cake and that fireball do pair pretty pretty darn well. So A for effort, 3 out of 10. Out of 5. <laughs> wow. The amphitheater at the Great State Fair of Texas. Big Tex, the cast of Fiestas de Marionettas, and the State Fair of Texas thank McDonald's and Univision 23 for their support of this show. finished watching the Fiestas de Marionetas and we saw this last year but man it never fails. It is such a good show. We sat down on accident last year and it made me tear up and today was no exception. I mean when they bring out the Dia de los Muertos obviously we're very big into that and so beautifully done. And they said that their puppet costs up to $2,500. Like it is a a pure artwork. It is amazing. So good. So we walked over to the Kentosaurus where they had different drinks and I got the Pitufo, which is the blue cocktail, and then the Pitofina, which is the pink one. I only knew of the blue one, but when I walked up, they had the blue and pink and I asked them, which is better? And they're like, they're both good. So I was like, let me go ahead and get both. They were so delicious and refreshing they weren't overly sweet even though they had like a bunch of candy and stuff in there and the sugared rim it was so good i finished it just during the show it was amazing so right now they're doing a picture with selena so i'll be back take pictures we're about to have to put them Come on, on we're gonna get a selfie for our next show so time is the drinks were really good like the blue blue raspberry taste and it was uh with a sugared rim and it was really good. I found myself trying to like chew the lip of the cup. Best mixed cocktail that we've had here so far. So Aaliyah so. can't be part of rating this one as like the badge of honor, but I think I would agree this a five? one. I give it a five. 100%. I give this a five. Towards the end of the night, we need to use up these tickets because if not, it's just lost money. So I got the Michelada Ultra with Michelob Ultra. You know, we're here in, bless you, we're here in Dinosaurs at the Lagoon. It reminds me of Jurassic Park, right? Mm -hmm. At Universal. That it'd be geared to that, you would have, you know, different type of music. <laughs> 
I'm vibing though. I would expect like a big, you know, tomahawk steak, a turkey leg, you know, some drink catered to dinosaurs. And here we are, the enchilada. <laughs> There's nothing about dinosaurs on that menu except for these dinosaur sized drinks. They're huge, look at that. That is massive. It's good. It really has that um, savoriness. So if you feel nauseous, not hungover, if you feel nauseous, this is it right here. I love Bloody Marys, but I do not like beer. So I would much prefer the vodka in one than the beer, so. Okay, that's not bad though. Oh, the spice, it has such a good flavor, but I agree with you, I feel like halfway through I would get sick of it or it would just start hurting my stomach, like just from the spice. Not bad, but I agree, like three out of five. Okay, and I got the cantarito, just because I wanted the little jar. It comes with a little lid, so I thought it was so cute, and I was asking if we can get agua frescas in it, and the one lady said, yeah, you can, but you'll still have to pay the price of the drink that comes in this, but the other lady said no. So I ended up ordering this, and I've never had this before, but look, you start sucking through the straw, and it's nothing but tahine. <laughs> So drink at your own risk. That is so good. This one is like lemon, lime. Grapefruit. Grapefruit, yeah. yeah grapefruit. Very bright flavors um, with a hint of spice from the, not the, not really like spice from the tahine, but like the, the earthiness from it. This is what I needed by now, except I have a headache, but this is perfect. Nice and cool, nice and refreshing, light, not too sweet like that cotton candy Rita thing we had earlier. No, come back to the Dinosaur Lagoon and get your drinks for sure. The kill is mezcal because it doesn't burn mm -hmm. and it has that smokiness, earthiness uh, flavor and undertones. This is the chamoy stick. In Mexico in a cup, specifically Guadalajara in a cup. Man, that's good. Five out of five. Yes, so the Cantarito gets a badge of honor from us. Four out of five. I think I've had better horchatas, but this is good. Oh, this one thing I noticed. It doesn't have cinnamon on top. Mm. Or like cinnamon granules mixed. Ooh. Barely. I'll take it back. There are some, barely. So it tastes like the, um, the packet ones that you could get from the store mixed it with water but they doctored it up. Maybe they added like sweetened condensed milk or something to this, but it's still refreshing. It's not the best, three out, of, three out of five. Okay, so when I first tasted this, I immediately said like, oh my gosh, this is so good. But now that we started like looking at it and I agree, like I didn't notice at first, there's no cinnamon at top, which is what we're used to. It's not as milky and rich as the ones we're used to. Um, however, I would prefer a more milky one, but here at the fair, maybe not so much because all that milk would be too heavy on you. So I feel like this was a good choice to still get the flavors of it without all that extra milk and you know heaviness while you're walking around the heat. Because when I tell you, today is hot, guys. If you come to the fair, be sure to drink your water, rest in the shade, cool off, We've seen too many people today already needing medical help because of like just overheating and exhaustion. So pace yourselves and stay hydrated. Three, three out of five. This is the biggest one. <laughs> the biggest one. Oh, this is close. Maybe you want the next one? Safety tip. Be careful when you're on, I think specifically this one, it shakes when you move it. It's kind of scaring me. Also, this is like the biggest one, and the stones are a lot bigger. Second biggest would be the Stegosaurus, then maybe the Triceratops, then the T-Rex. I'd say, you know, you're about to go ride the T-Rex now. So let's say goodbye. Okay, this is the smallest one.
started about 15 minutes ago. About 10 minutes ago, it stopped. The armadillo with Big Tex and the bull in it stopped. And it sounded like one of the floats may have hit like a one of the golf carts, like for the fire department. And now we have a fireworks show at the same time. So that's what it was? I'm assuming that's what it was. So I'm hearing all of the floats music start playing now. So, and all of everyone's standing back up. So I think that's what it was. They're getting in place because we're at the very beginning. So now they're getting in place and they're going to start moving as normal. Once again, travel battles way. He's turning all the music on. catch up. I know. So during the daytime we accidentally caught a bit of the parade and we actually got to see like the marching bands and the dancers and stuff. But in the nighttime parade, they don't have any of that. It's just the floats. Yeah, I felt like something was missing. Yeah, quite a bit of it, actually. Wow, that was really short. It was very short. All right, Battle Buddies. That was our opening day at the Texas State Fair and I believe it was a pretty successful one actually. We got to eat a bunch of food. We still didn't even get to eat everything on our list, but it's, you're gonna have to come a few times to get everything on your list accomplished. We got to watch a few amazing shows and we got to finish off with the parade. Let us know in the comments, do you come to the fair more for the food or rides? Because we're all about the food in the shows. And thanks for joining us. Yeah, so that was our opening day for the fair. Uh, let us know what you liked about this video, what you didn't like, even that, but don't do that. I gotta say, if you come by, drink water. Just drink water. You can have everything else later. Water is important, because we have already seen three, two, three people already fall out. So, once again, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thing. Park at gate six. You don't want to be parking at all these other homes and stuff like that because it's going to be like a 15 20 minute walk. Just park at gate six, like literally right here by the entrance.